Thank you for staying with us. We're still watching Wake Up Nigeria, and right now it's time for parenting. Bumi Akeshola is a social development practitioner who brings in extensive expertise in child protection and sexual education. Now, with a visionary mindset, she holds a deep passion for the well-being of children and serves as a strong advocate for their rights and protection against abuse today on parenting. We'll be talking about how to get your child to talk to you when they're being abused. Welcome back to Wake Up Nigeria. Thank you so much. It's always nice to have you. I love your Ankara outfit. <laughs> thank nice. you. Okay, I'm good. I'm very well, thank you. So, I mean, this conversation has been going on, on right, over the past two weeks. We're talking about um, child abuse and things like that and getting your, com um, your child in that space to be comfortable around you. Now, today, we're actually diving into that because we know as Nigerians and the way we were brought up or the way we were used to being brought up, right? Yeah. A lot of us literally did not have that probably bonding experience with our parents or that openness to have certain conversations. Now, adding the fact that, I mean, sexual abuse is something that is very sensitive, how can we actually make sure we have um, that type of relationship with our kid for them to be comfortable enough to talk to you about something as deep as sexual abuse. Okay, so thank you so much for, yeah. for, for having me today. Yeah. Um, so we've been having this conversation, like you said, over the last two weeks, and yeah. this is like the third week. And we've tried to build a foundation yes. talking about how um, the most important thing is that you are aware as a yeah. parent, yes. and then you build a relationship with your child such that your child can connect so much with you, like yeah. you said, in the Nigerian climate, yes. we don't have that connection yes. and bond yes. as much as we should. We should. Because I don't want to say we don't. <laughs> as much yes. as we should with yes. our children, such that they can walk up to us mm -hmm. and talk to us about anything. anything. Yes. They can ask questions, but you know that the children we're raising these days, mm -hmm. they like to ask questions. Yes. They want to know why. Yes. They always want to ask why. Yes. So you want to set yourself as a parent. Mm -hmm. People say, I don't want to be my child's friend, but mm -hmm. I say, if you are not your child's friend, mm. or if you are not in that space where your child feels like I can talk to you about anything, yes. when they're experiencing abuse, they won't come to you. Yes, very so true. first of all, you want to be that person that talks, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. talks about those difficult conversations, very because true. those are the ones we usually avoid. Okay. When we talk about sex education, sexuality conversation, yes. usually we have a lot of parents shying away from it, but we can no longer shy away from true. those kind of conversations. Conversation about the sexual health of your child, mm. talking about puberty, yes. talking about just building that relationship such yes. that they see you as a safe space yes. and you are not judgmental. Yes. Because I know that's the reason many children will not talk to their parents. Yes. Um, I work with parents and I work with children as mm. well. And by reason of working with children, most of the times when you see a child that is being abused, mm -hmm. the fear is usually my parents will not believe me. Mm. True, true, true. So you want to true. be that person that your child can trust. Mm -hmm. You want to build that connection such that your child sees you as a safe space. Okay. I can tell my mom anything and she's not looking at me with one bad eye. Yes. I can tell my mom anything and the next day she's not going to tell her friends mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. it. That, ah, do you even know what happened? Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Because mm -hmm. Those are the kind of things that children look out for. Yes. So you just want to be in that space where your child can talk to you. Yes. Befriend your child. Befriend build your relationship. Child. All right. Connect. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now you talk about working with kids and then working with parents, right? And then now this conversation is actually very, very important. However, we want to be, yes, I've definitely heard that as well. I don't want to be my child's friend. I'm the mm -hmm. parents, right? But I think what's important is to know when to switch from friend to parents. Exactly. So now, can you help us with tips on how to balance that? Because most times, that, that's, like a lot of people are like, okay, I want to instill discipline on this child. Do you understand? I want to grow responsible adults. So you need to be hard sometimes. So how do you balance that, oh, being a friend and then being uh, the mother or okay, father? So like you said, we need the word is balance. Yeah. Think balance. So mm -hmm. as a parent, you're wearing many hearts. Yes. So there are times where you have to be the parent, like in the sense of... Um, these are the things, these are the set rules in our house. Yes. These are the values. So as a parent, you are teaching, you are training, mm -hmm. you are nurturing. Mm -hmm. So there has to be that connection between teaching, training, nurturing, and caring for the child such that the child knows that my parent has my best, best interest, interest at, yes. at heart. So yes. every time in child protection, we talk about having the best interest of the child at heart. Mm -hmm. But we always also say this, that we don't know how much we care. you care until we see it. Mm -hmm. So you are showing, showing it in such a way that you have conversations with your child every day. So it starts mm -hmm. from your daily conversation. Mm -hmm. They are back from school. What do you ask? Mm -hmm. Majority of the times, parents just ask, how was your day? Mm -hmm. And the child goes, 
Fine. Mm. That's a closed-ended question. You want to ask specific questions mm. about their day. What happened today? Is there anything mm. that happened? Because I believe that it starts from those daily small conversations mm. that you start having with them mm. and build up over time such that when there is a switch, you will know. You would know and sure. you can tell your child that, oh, I observed. So mm -hmm. as we would usually go, what's wrong with you? No. Mm -hmm. We usually say to us, it's too confrontational. Yeah, it's so true. you can go like, oh, I observed you're a bit quiet today. Mm -hmm. What happened? Is there anything I should know? Mm -hmm. I would really want to know. You know, you can talk to me. Mm -hmm. So in that way, you are creating that safe, safe space for that child. Yes. And when the child talks, so this is another part that is really important. So whatever the child says, because like I said, it starts from those daily consistent conversations. Yes. Whatever the child says, mm -hmm. you, the child is watching out for how you are reacting. So true, we say, true. don't react, respond. Okay. And so now respond. what's the, let me hold you with the catch there. <laughs> what's the difference between a response and a reaction? So reaction is your child tells you that, ah, my friend told something is good to eh? Is that the kind of friend you are having? <laughs> ah, ah, ah. I've told you, I've okay. you Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Respond is like, oh, wow. So what happened? What did you think happened with your friend? Mm -hmm. So you are actually listening to the child. Mm -hmm. You are not jumping into conclusion. Mm -hmm. Because usually that's what you see parents do. Mm -hmm. That your head just goes like, wah, 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 and you're like, oh, mm -hmm. my yeah. child, connection with that kind of friend. No, I don't yes. want you with that kind of. So you are not always looking to correct mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you are looking to connect by listening mm -hmm. attentively paying attention children know where you're not paying attention to them true, they true. are very observant so yes. they are looking at your body language more than even what you're saying, what you're saying. so you want to be calm whatever your child is telling you calmly listen to your child mm -hmm. allow the child communicate mm -hmm. and you also respond mm -hmm. from a place of knowledge. of knowledge not just what i feel not just how i feel not just how i was raised yes but based on the knowledge i have because there are sensitive issues and there are deep issues yeah, that yes you want to prepare your child to be able to have those kind of conversations, conversations. and it starts from right yeah it starts from now okay that makes a lot of sense so now wrapping things up now we're talking about i mean parents that can't even connect in the first place right developing the habits to actually connect and have daily conversations now Let's talk about parents that are literally super busy, right? Always away. It's not like they want to. They're just trying to provide for the family. Yeah. Do you understand? So how would you say, um, just give us a few tips here and there that they can actually um, use to create that time, just pocket of time to just have those in, in, um, um, connection moments with your kids. And also, what if parents have literally already gone far or, or probably had or a parenting style that doesn't serve this purpose you're talking about? Now, how can they circle back? and then now start putting in corrective measures to build that bond. Okay, so the first thing, like your first question, um, what I usually say is 15% of your day is not so much for you to spend with your child. Okay. So if you can commit to, there is a lot you can do in 15 minutes. Very true, yes. You can hug your child, mm -hmm. you can affirm your child, you can show appreciation to your child, you can ask your child how your day went, you know, you can actually know a lot in 15 minutes. So what yes. I just want to say is, in the midst of being busy, because we can't say don't work as a yes. parent, at least true, you have true. to provide. For you have family. to provide, yes. But can you commit to 15 minutes yes. to say, when I get back from work, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe after taking a shower or mm -hmm. whatever, maybe after break or during dinner, yes, I yes. can sit and actually talk, talk connect with connect. my child. Or maybe bedtime when the child is going to bed, because yeah. usually children like their parents staying with them, depending yes. on the age of your child. True. So you can have that connection time mm -hmm. at bedtime. Mm -hmm. You know, just make up your mind that I will give 15 minutes to connect with my child. Yeah. Now taking it to the Please other side of parents who mm -hmm. um, probably because of the way they were raised, mm -hmm. I found it difficult to have that connection. Mm -hmm. What I want to say is, a lot of times you have to reparent yourself. True. We have to do a lot of reparenting. And there are a lot of materials out exactly. there to do that. Exactly. Yes. So there are a lot of resources that can actually, you can read books, True. you can attend programs, you can attend seminars. Programs right. like this actually help. Okay. So I hate to cut you, but thank you so much. So much knowledge packed in that short time. But we'll be having you again next week yes, to definitely. continue this conversation. Thank you so much. Thank you.